Hey guys, what is going on? This is Salt from Salt and Spice, and today we're playing Machinki. This is a brand new game on Steam that just came out today. And um, it's a train building slash tycoon game. And it looks very promising. I have been wanting to buy a train game for a while, but none of them just seemed kind of worth it. But this one, honestly, it's, it's an early access. It was an early alpha build, and it's really promising I mean you can see the stuff that needs to be worked on still there's mul multiplayer for up to eight players there's seven eras to progress from from the steam age to the future I mean this sounds like it's gonna be a big game so might as well just catch in on the action early right so I saw a few youtubers play it already you know those who got early um, well this is early access but they got even earlier access to the to the to the um, to the game right so I honestly don't know how to play. I'm going to kind of learn as I go. So the first thing I want to do is actually turn down the music just a little bit. Let's do music volume at like 85. That's fine. 85. Ah, 86. Okay. We're going with 86. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just jump right into a game, not knowing what we're doing. We have uh, advanced and basic um, customization options. Okay, so there's... Um, World building. So from what I from what I hear, the maps are pretty big to begin with. So let's not do 512. Let's go with 256 by 256. Hills, low density. Yeah, Mo more hills. Um, well, this is cool. This kind of shows you what the maps gonna look like if I, you know, add different things to it. You can see the map in the background also changes. But um, hills make the game harder because you have to build like tunnels and stuff to get through the mountains and hills. So we're actually gonna go with low density. Forest, we'll do medium, industry medium. Let's yeah, let's keep everything medium. Lakes. Yeah, you can do low. Yeah, it's a low density. Recommended for your first game. Okay, so they actually say a, a smaller map. Okay, that's fine. We'll do a smaller map. What's the advanced options? Mm, okay, so this is like starting money and okay. So let's just do the recommendations for the first game and let's jump right into it. So this game is pretty cool. There's um, you're kind of in charge of um, connecting trains with different uh, not not trains but like towns and industrial centers with with uh, with with railroad tracks to kind of interconnect all these different industries and stuff. And it's it's pretty cool. I like it. It's like um, not only is it just like a relaxing kind of train game, but it's also an like economic management type of game. You know what I mean? And, and obviously, I like those kind of games. You see, I've played Prison Architect and airport CEO in the past right so click on the OK button to read about quests and collect your first reward All right you're the owner of a tiny transport company to succeed you have to build tracks research and buy the latest vehicles and yeah so there's there's research in this game it's uh, there's a lot to it for a train game honestly that's why it caught my attention okay um, quests on the left side you can see a list of quests each type is different there's era quests Event, big quest, or which are part of the storyline. Okay, so there's a storyline to this. Interesting. Tutorial quest and sandbox quest. Mm, these quests explain new functions and sometimes reveal some of Mashiki's secrets. Oh, cool. Okay. So then we'll probably be doing tutorial quests mainly. Click on the 10 cash button to collect your reward. 10 cash. This is our starting cash down here. 1044. And I got 1054. First, we do know how to move around. Let's start with zooming out. Zoom out on the mouse wheel. Zoom in. Press and hold while moving your cam cars or use control. Okay, that's rotating. Okay, see. Now let's try moving the camera. You can use the right mouse button or WAS, right? Cool, I'll use WAS. I like that. It's a lot simpler. simpler. You can collect various tokens such as money, wood, coal, iron, and more. Each time you progress to a new era, you'll unlock a new token. Okay, so these aren't the only industries we have. We'll probably get oil in later eras, right? Let's get some more money. First thing we'll need to do is create a nice hill. You'll need to modify the terrain a lot. Building, railways, and infrastructure all need the right terrain for construction. Ensure that you switch to construction mode by pressing the space bar or using the blank icon on the toolbar. Okay, let's go there. To edit the terrain, we need to open the terrain tools in the toolbar. Select the bulldozer icon. Got it. The bulldozer is used to clear tile. Uh, raise or lower, equalize. Okay. Select the raising tool. Raise the terrain with the left mouse button. You can also hold the left mouse and drag it to the big area. Just press it. Okay. 
Well done. <clears throat> First line. Mushinki is all about railways. The simplest railway line is between two stations connected with the depot. So we need a station, two stations, right? And two towns. And um, a depot to build the the, the, um, the engines and the wagons. Let's start by building a line between Worcester and Dundee. Okay, where's Worcester? It's over here. And Dundee is over here. Okay, so they're right next to each other. Open the railway tools. Tools. <laughs> Open the railway tools and select the, um, the railway icon. Okay. First, let's place a station. Cargo is loaded, unloaded, and stored in stations. Industries take this cargo, process it into new projects, and return these stations for transport. What material stations except depends on the industries around them. So let's start with transporting passengers between Worcester and Dundee. Click the station tool and uh, place the station by clacking and clacking, clicking and dragging the left mouse button on flat land near the town. Okay. Mm. So the way that I've seen this played is that when, when you build stations, there's like a rate. Uh, voice keeps cracking. Uh, there's like a radius where um, you can collect resources. So when you build your station, you want to have as many houses in the uh, in the radius of this um, of this train station. So what I think I'm gonna do is build it along here. Station is too large. Is that fine? We'll catch what four houses there. Let's see over here. How many would I get? Two. Can I build one here? That one only gets me three. So I think we're just gonna build this thing vertically. Like that. Yeah. That looks good. And then we can always expand. We can improve stations to increase its radius. So then we'll get to the center of the town next. So yeah, let's go ahead and accept that. And we need a second station as well. So is this Dundee or is that Worcester? Worcester. How do you pronounce this? War Worcester? Worcester. I'm saying Worcester. If it's wrong, correct me, please. Place station by clicking and dragging the left mouse button on flat land near the town. Mm, okay, so that's gonna be easy. That's right around here. Yeah, that's that was easy. Mm, let me actually go down one. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. These stations need to be connected by a railway line. So let's go click on the railway line. And is that, is that not right? Oh, okay, this one, this one. And then let's go ahead and drag to connect these guys. Yeah, let's do like that. There you go. Now we need to add a depot. So here's the depot. And build the depot in a highlighted area. When you've done, when you've chosen a suitable spot, rotate the depot so it connects to your railway line. Rotate with M. Okay, and we'll build it like that, sure, no no problem. Okay, let's buy a train. Open the depot by clicking on it. Let's cancel railway construction, click on the icon, engines, and buy a 260 porter. This thing can go 70 miles per hour, has 290 horsepower. Okay, let's buy that. And now we could buy wagons for it. So let's go with three Pullman carriages. You can see it can hold eight passengers. So with three of them, we can hold 24. Um, on simple lines with two stations, trains can automatically calculate routes according to the carriages or wagons selected. Uh, so for now, you just need to start your new train. Release the brakes and move. How do I really release it? Start it. Start. Click on start to start the train. Okay. Well done. You built your first railway line. Nice, guys. This flag will start and stop it. Um, what's that icon? Map allows you to manage trains manually. Oh, orders. Okay, oh, I see. I see. This lets you ride on board the train. Locks the main camera to the train. Where are those options? Oh, I see. Oh, awesome! Look at this guy. This is pretty cool. What is this guy switch sides or locks the main camera to the train? Right on. Oh, okay, and it's uh, did, did it pick up passengers? Is that what it did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see that our train has seven uh, passengers out of twenty-four. So these passengers came from the station near Dundee. You can see there's um, five still left. And oh, did you see that? 
So you can see where the passengers come from. They come from these houses. These, these, the, the, these towns, they generate passengers for you to take to and fro. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and ride the train again. I kind of like that animation. Really cool. Can I look around? That's cool. I like that. I like that you can... Um, I like that you can kind of zoom out and get like a management type of view or just zoom in and get more of a, like a realistic kind of micro camera. That's kind of cool. What's our next thing we got to do? Don't forget to have a look at your railway and realistic view by pressing spacebar. Okay, so this is this is like strategic view and this is realistic view. Okay, so space changes that? No problem. Click on the icon. Okay, I see how that works now. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. What's next? Don't forget to have a look at your railway and realistic view by pressing spacebar. Uh huh. And I did that. Oh, okay, I just have to click my rewards now. I see. Okay. So you can see uh, we're loading up more guys, and we we get paid when we drop off um, passengers at these stations. So that's cool. You see, we have two hundred uh, bucks more than we started with. But a lot of that's probably from quests. First passengers, this is a unique opportunity for your company. There is virtually no transport infrastructure here. You should take advantage of this. Um, transport 50 passengers to any city. We did, we've done seven so far from um, from Dundee, right? Seven is what we loaded on here. And we took seven to Worcester. At Worcester, we picked up 18. You know what? I want to write this again. This is fun. Let me go with. Let me try this camera now. So this camera just kind of. Um, oh, control is what rotates it. I forgot. Okay. Cool. So we can kind of just follow this thing. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That's cool. <laughs> so you can see. The um, the wagons for these uh, for these trains. You see how some of the windows are open, and they have uh, open and closed curtains. So that means we have passengers that are there or not, right? So we're going to drop off 18 passengers, and we're going to pick up 17. All right? That's how it looks. Drop off 18. We should be getting a bunch of like little jump change around here. Yeah, you see that? And then we're going to pick up uh, 17, right? Hmm. We picked up 15. Oh, there, okay. 17. It just took a while. Interesting, interesting. So, how are these passengers generated? If I click on Dundee, what does it, it tell me about Dundee? Let's see. Okay, so it says that if we bring passengers to it, it'll give us money. And it produces passengers. 618 out of 690? Hmm. What does that mean? And what does this mean? There's 29 people living here and it produces 23? Or if we bring 23 to... Huh. I'm not sure how that works. Okay. We'll just stick the... Um, we'll look that up later. But what's our objective again? Alright, right. Objective is to transport 50 passengers in between um, cities. We have got 25 so far. We're halfway there. What if we connect to a third city? Shrewsbury. Look at that. There's 30 people living here. That would um, that would, that would would build up fast. So let me actually go ahead and... It didn't seem like building that station, uh, that train route was very expensive. So I think we can kind of just keep going here. So let's go ahead and hit space and go to construction view. Uh, railways. Let's go with the station. And I think I want it on the center like that. Mm, let's see, right here I would catch one, two, three, five, seven houses. If I build it over here, I would catch three, five. If I build it over here, I would catch three, six. Ooh, I can catch seven here as well, right? Well, this is, well, this is yeah, it's seven. Eh, let's just build one here like that. That catches seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, and then let's connect these two stations. I wonder if we can kind of like connect them from, from this area here. Like that. Let's see. Um oh I gotta click and drag. Okay. So let's see if this train will now go to all three stations. I just I love that you can just switch back and forth between this strategic view and this realistic view. It's um, really neat. Kind of reminds me of um, Civilization. If you guys have ever played that. So if you zoom out, you can see all these industries. There's a forest near Dundee produces wood. Uh, tool works. I think it it uh, like converts resources, right? So it looks like it says wood and uh, lumber and coal makes wood. W wood and coal make. Lumber and uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Um, there's coal mines. I mean, this and this is just the first era too, right? This is just the first era. Who knows? Um, it, it said there was gonna be like 21 industries. I think I read in the in the opening page, and it said what's to come. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so you can see people filling up the station here. This one, so Shrewsbury is a much bigger, much bigger city. Are you not going to? Can I speed up time? By the way, I want to. Is that a thing I can do? Can I tell this train to go to Shrewsbury? Because I don't think it did. Did it? Let's see. Let's look at. Go to depot. Ignore next signal. Reverse orders. Skip actual command and route list. Add command. You may click on a station to send vehicle there. You may click track piece to set waypoint. You may click other vehicle to copy its route list. Ah, oh, interesting. Remove commands. This train has no orders. Adds commands to stop and turn around vehicle. You may add this command right after waypoint or station to force vehicle. Always turn around there. Hmm. Okay, so first it's turn around. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and just see if this train will go to Shrewsbury because I was not paying attention. So I don't know if it's going to go there by itself. We might need to tell it to. What are these other options I have? Is this time? Oh, change speed time. Perfect. perfect. Let's go to and see how fast faster is. A lot of money we're making there. Let's go ahead and speed up time just a little bit more. So this is what triple speed, maximum game speed. Ooh, we got a new quest. Look, let's look at this. Uh, slow down time, slow down time. Oh, there's, there's hotkeys. Okay, one, two, three. That's to pause. Okay, okay. Delivery of logs. <clears throat> Deliver 100 logs into any sawmill. Forests are all around us, so you m should have no problem finding them. If you succeed, you will, they will pay you well. You might have more work for you. Into a sawmill. Is that a building somewhere? Forest, Cambridge. Sawmill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's sawmills. So what's the nearest sawmill to us? <clears> hmm. <throat> so I just noticed that we can't use all of this part of the map. That's probably like um, so th this is a hundred. What was it? Hundred, hundred twenty-eight. I think it was one twenty-eight by one twenty-eight. And then the next option was two fifty-six by two fifty-six, and then five twelve, five twelve. So this is the smallest um, map size. Okay. Okay. And it's not going to Shrewsbury. So let me see if I can tell it to. Info, 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 info. Orders, orders, okay. Add station, yes. I want you to come here, please. Yeah, go there. And then go here. Oh, no, hold on. Drag, drop. And then go here. And then go here last. Okay, so let's, let's see if it does that. Let's go ahead and speed up time. Okay, so it went to Worcester. Now it should go to Dundee. Oh no, it's gonna start all over. It's gonna start all over, okay. Ooh, picked up a lot of people, did you see that? 24 people, we filled up our train to its max capacity. Interesting, so I wonder if we can add another wagon to it. Right here we drop off 24 people who get paid very handsomely. Pick up another 24 people, okay. And there's 33 people waiting at the station here. Look at that, interesting. Whoa, there's 50 people over here. 
Wow, wow, wow. Very cool. So I think this thing takes its orders very strictly. So I think it's going to go to station number three and then go all the way back to um, the, the beginning. So I wonder if it's beneficial to kind of stop by Dundee after we go to Worcester before starting over. I think that makes sense, right? So let's go ahead and add that station again. There we go. So now it should go from three to one, back to two, and then go start over at three again. All right. So let's maybe maybe we can leave that train focused uh, purely all on working on um, on passengers, right? And then maybe have a separate train doing the lumber industry. That sounds good. So let's go ahead and connect a route here. Um, there's a forest near Dundee. How does this work? I just have to send... Mm, let me see, let me see. Modify terrain, build road infrastructure, plant vegetation, your company info file, quest, subsidies, railway. No. Modify terrain. Mm -mm. Do I just build stations or how does it work? Bridges, tunnels, stations. Build for station for loading, unloading trains. Oh, for loading slash unloading trains. Build a depot to buy new trains. Hmm, okay. So how do I get access to this wood here? Do I have to send a do I have to send like a a route? A train route to go directly through it, I wonder? Let's try that. Let's go ahead and slow down time for now. Railway, basic railway. So can we kind of make it come over here like that? Building in a way? Okay, so we can't build through the... Got it, got it, got it. Go ahead and rotate this so I can get a better view of what's happening over here. Can I build like that? No, it doesn't build. It doesn't work that way. Okay. So, let's see. From... Let's go here first, like that. And then connect it somewhere here. Like that, probably. It looks alright, let's do that. <clears throat> so let me see how this works. So let's go ahead and buy a new engine. So we have Baldwins and Porters, but Baldwins, you can see they cost lumber. We don't have... Oh, we do, we do have 20 lumber. We can build a Baldwin. This, have, this has more, more horsepower. You know what? I imagine wood is heavier than people, so... Let's get a Baldwin, and let's add some wagons to it. Capacity seven. Oh, this is for mail. Okay, so a uh, Stodinger. Stodinger is what carries wood. It can carry seven. I'm not sure if that's a lot. Let's put. Um, it speeds ninety, right? Should I put three on there? I wonder. Now, I honestly don't know too much about engines and stuff, so I, I don't know how horsepower how uh, horsepower kind of acts with like weight and stuff. But I'm gonna go with three, just because we had three three wagons on the first train. Let's put three wagons on the second train as well. Mm, okay. And then can we start that train? Well, let's, let's give it orders first, right? Let's have it go to. Oh, you know what? I think we need a station here. Yeah, 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 that, that's how it works. Okay, so let me go ahead and remove let me remove that and build a station instead here. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot more sense. Okay. Stations are kind of expensive, so let me just go with like something super small like that. I wonder if I wonder if the station needs to be as big as the as the train. Just in case that's the that's the um, just in case that's right, I'm gonna build a, a full length station. So now we can kind of give this the order to come to the station. Oh, okay, so you see how the um, the forest is automatically sending wood to the station here. Station four, and then let's um, let's start it. So it does need to wait before this train gets out of the way before it can go. So when this train leaves, then this train should um, should take off. Train 2 has been stopped at a signal for a long time. Is that because I haven't sent it yet? or? 
cl let's, let's close that and see if it tells us of that again. So now you can see Station 4 has um, has four woods sitting in there. Can I change the name? I don't like that Station 4. I'm going to get confused. Eh, that's fine. I guess I can just look, right? So are you started? Come on, what's going on? Start, start your, start your thing. Come on, go, go over to the station. Go over to the station. Come on. Green means it's started. So why aren't you leaving? I wonder if it needs signals because it's sharing tracks with the same. Let's try that. Wrong truck crossing? Track crossing? Oh, okay, I just needed a signal. I got it, I got it. So then let's pull, this, let's pull the signal here, I think, right? So that if this guy's over here, he won't come this way. Let's see, a train, are you stuck? Oh, he's just loading people. So will he turn around right now? I wonder. We'll get back to him, but let's see this train. Okay, so there's 13 wood now in um, Station 4 near Dundee. Let's just call this the Dundee Forest. <laughs> And are we in Britain? Is that what this is? We probably are, considering Britain's role in, like, industrialization, I guess. But if you look at these names, they sound very... Yeah, Liverpool, uh-huh, Worcester, Shrewsbury. These are very British names. Nottingham, yeah, this is definitely Britain. Okay. So train two just stopped in the forest here. It's going to pick up some some logs. got our first reward 50 passengers let's do that and we got logs to deal with okay so this train kind of just sit here and in, um, in, in the station because it has no other orders but to just sit here uh, sit here so it's probably just gonna wait until it loads up everything I can and is this train stuck yeah this train stuck yeah ignore ignore that signal Hmm, maybe I don't want a signal there after all. Let's see, can I go... Choose the direction. Can I remove it? Individual items, can I remove this? Okay. Hmm. So I'm not really sure how signals work. I don't know if it needs to apply to just one of them, or... I don't know. I don't know how it works. <clears throat> so we need to deliver this to a sawmill. The nearest one, I think it's gotta be this one over here. Sawmill near Belfast. Or the sawmill near Nottingham. I'm gonna go this way. Simply because it's, it's gonna connect two more large towns and there's another forest here near Cambridge. So what I think I'm gonna do to kind of maximize time is have the train stop by both stations on its way to the sawmill to kind of like double up on, on its on its um on its cargo, you know what I mean? So it's gonna expand this to go to mm, Let's look over here. Let's see if we can let's see if we can make one station get all this stuff over here. Uh station. No, it doesn't seem like it can. Mm -mm. Looks like it needs to be one or the other. We'll do a full length station. Put one here. And then for Cambridge, let's have one go. That only gets three. That gets four at least. All 
right, we'll build a station there. <clears throat> and then let's connect these two here. No, 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 not from there, from the station. There you go. Let's have it come all the way over here. Let's have it go through this station first. And then let's have it kind of go. No, that's not enough space. Can I go this way? Yeah, we can go that way. It looks a little awkward, but uh, I think that's going to be fine. And then let's have it go all the way over here. Let's build a station first. That's a nice station. That gets four, five, six, seven, eight houses and a sawmill. Heck yeah. Cool. Okay, okay. So let's click on train two and let's give it some more orders. So it's going to stop at station four. Then it will stop at station five. And then it's going to stop at station six. Oh, seven. Do we skip six? Oh, six was uh, for town. Seven. Then it's going to start all over. Okay. Looks good. And it's already on its way. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we got a basic little industry going on here. That's kind of cool. Um, and it's... Oof, this one has 130 people already. Maybe we can kind of expand on train one and give it some more carriages, I think. Is there anything I can... Statistics, let me see. Operating costs, transported. Money? Let's just click money. Oh, okay. I can, I can filter stuff, I see. Okay. Mm, info. 62 out of 90 miles per hour. Is that because of... Um, because of its weight? Probably, huh? Let's see how much how fast train two is going. Train two is going 67. 68. It's speeding up because there's a straight uh, straight path, I assume. Or maybe 90 is what it can go. And it slows down when it takes turns. That would make sense, right? That makes sense. So this train should skip this station. Yeah, it'll skip it. And it'll go around here. It's going to speed up time just a little bit. And uh, yeah, it should stop here. And it'll load... Oh, it already has its full capacity. So it's going to... It will stop here simply because I told it to. But um, yeah, it'll, it'll take off again. Let me click on it and let's actually ride this train. Look at this. This is cool. <gasps> I can blow the whistle. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. What does this do? Change the sides of the train or? Oh, oh. You can go, you can go from wagon to wagon. That's kind of cool. So I can go to the caboose of this thing, huh? Yeah, look at that. And this is what, different sides of the train? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh wow, you can see the inside of it as well. Looks like there's four different angles here. So there's like right side outer, right side inner, and left side inner, left side outer. Okay. Okay. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. This one only has two. Okay. And this is what to leave the train? Yeah. Pretty neat guys, pretty neat. I gotta say I'm I've put what half an hour into this already. How long has it been? Half an hour? Yeah, I'm 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 enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot, honestly. I gotta say. So let's go ahead and convert some lumber into no some lumber into timber, or is it the other way around? So yeah, I think it's convert timber into lumber, and then we'll call it an episode. So it should be dropping off 21 logs here. 
Yeah, you can see, oh wow, there's animations for it as well. You see that? Here comes the l lumber. Okay, so we're dropping it off and we're switching it for... That's cool, look at this sawmill. Look at it go. It just piles up all of this lumber and... Cool. So there is, um... There's four lumber we can use here at Belfast. Six now, because it's, it's, it's constantly going to be converting uh, wood into lumber. Only thing is, Train 2 does not have wagons to carry lumber. So what we're going to tell us thing to do is to actually go back to the depot. Let's see. Can I tell you to go back? No. What does this do? Skip actual command in route list. Go to depot. Go to depot. Send vehicle to depot. So if I, if I speed up time, is it going to skip all of its orders and then... We're playing in the year 1923. Did you realize that? That's interesting. So station four is its first stop. So yeah, if it skips that, then we know for sure it's gonna go to the depot. Okay. So it's at the depot. So if you click on the tr if you click on train two, no, if you click on the depot, let's go to. Mm, let's look at wagons. The wrong hoffer is what carries um, is what carries lumber. It carries seven. So we have wagons that carry coal as well. Cool. Now, how do I overload trains? Like, I want to know what what's what's too much for this train that it can't handle. You know what I mean? Can I see that somewhere? Hmm. I info. Ninety miles per hour, four hundred and fifty HP. I think if I kind of overloaded the its its max speed should drop, I think, right? So okay, so so it's at ninety. So once once I see it go below ninety, I know I'm struggling to overload it. So let's go ahead and put um Let's let's add some more Stodingers. So this thing can carry twenty eight wood now. Let's do one more. Actually, how is it doing so far? Let me, let me, let me open up train 2's window in a, in a separate window here. 90 miles per hour still? Okay. Let's do one more Stodinger. And then let's add two Ronkhoffers. Okay. Okay. That was good. Let's go ahead and have train two. Train two, come on. Yeah, go ahead and go follow your orders again. Meanwhile, train one is um, doing what it's been doing all game, delivering people. So I, I noticed that Shrewsbury has tons more people than these other two. And I wonder why that is. I see that Wor Worcester has like 27 max people. 29, but how does it have 173? I, I really want to know how that builds up, you know what I mean? Okay, so train 2 filled up its max at, at this station here, so we could probably have it ignore um, ignore station 5, honestly. Yeah, you see it, it fills up immediately on, on the first station. <clears throat> So the sawmill here uh, depleted all of its logs that we, that we that we brought them, and they've converted it into 14 tum uh, timber, which is exactly how much we can carry. So it's gonna load up, dropped off all its logs, picked up all the lumber it could take, and it's heading back. So what's our progress here? Deliver 100 logs to any sawmill. We'll have that done in no time. So I'm gonna actually play a little bit off camera, and I'll I'll start the next episode when this. Um, contract is complete. So um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.